Welcome, my fellow weebs and degenerates. Today, we're going to be covering something a bit different than the usual on my channel. For this episode, I would like to welcome you all to a little discussion that's been going around the anime community lately. And we're just going to call said discussion, Is this anime or hentai? And the topic we're going to be covering is the manga titled World's End Harem and if it should truly receive an anime adaptation, as it was announced to come out sometime in 2021. So throughout the course of this video, if you have any thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comment section. So without further ado, let's begin. Anime, a style of Japanese film and television animation, typically aimed at adults as well as some children. Some of us grew up with anime and manga, including myself, with shows such as Inuyasha and maybe Naruto, but a favorite of mine would be the anime and manga titled To Love Ru. Getting a little friskier, taking a step up from anime, we have Echi, a genre in Japanese anime and manga that refers to erotic but not abruptly sexual content. It can show full to partial nudity, including nips, camels, panty flashing, grabbing boobs, but never exposed genitals, god forsake that, and is often displayed in a humoresque way. The term comes from the Japanese pronunciation of the letter H, pronounced ECHI. As in Japan, erotic content is rated H, while in the rest of the world, it's more commonly rated X. Not to be confused with doujin or hentai, can most of the time be okay to air on live television, as long as some censoring usually applies. Now, hentai, otherwise known as a work of art, and you can't change my mind, is a subgenre of the Japanese genres of manga and anime, characterized by overtly sexualized characters and sexually explicit images and plots. Hell, they even hold hands and give head pats, and that's the lewdest of the lewd. But which of these categories does World's End Harem fall under? To figure that out, let's start out with a brief synopsis of the story. The story opens up on two young medical researchers walking to a lab. Mizuhara Rito and Eliza Tachibana have known each other since they were children. There's an obvious connection between the two, but it's never been acted on until this day, like anime characters usually do. But Rito finally confesses his love to Eliza, not knowing that it may already be too late. Rito was recently diagnosed with cellular sclerosis, a disease that will kill him if he's not placed into cryosleep. Oh wait, I forgot to mention that World's End Harem takes place in the year 2040, and there's been so many technological advancements that humanity is on the way to creating a human utopia. Humans don't have to worry about diseases because you can simply go into cryosleep until the cure for any disease is found. Except for, you know, loving your actual waifu that's never gonna be real. This, however, doesn't help our main character, Rito. He just opened his art to the girl that he loves his whole life, and with at least five years of cryosleep ahead of him, who knows if she'll wait for him. Seems perfectly innocent so far, right? Nothing out of the usual. For anyone new to the series, it could just be another trashy romance anime. But if it was, why would the anime community have such a rave about it? Well, as you could guess from the title of the series with the word harem in it, you guessed it, it is indeed trash. But why? Well, you see, when Rito wakes up from his cryogenic nap time that lasted five years, he is brought into a room with five other males, and told that they are the last remaining males in the world. When they were all in deep sleep, there was a nasty virus that only affected dudes across the whole entire universe, apparently. This virus is known as the MK virus, and killed off 99.9% .9 of the male population, and now only females remain. You see where I'm going with this? It's like inter species reviewers didn't push the boundary enough, now we're full on stepping on the line that was the determiner between anime and hentai. These five or six males are treated as national treasures and tasked with one thing, repopulating the entire world. So what's the difference between this plot and a hentai? Add a main protagonist that only has eyes for one girl and you get one of two things. You either get really, really etchy anime or number two, you get religious hentai. Whichever works, I guess. Now for the final question at hand, though. Does World's End Harem deserve an anime adaptation? Well, the answer's actually quite simple. You see, if hentai is art, then I am a consumer that is willing to suck that shit up. Not all anime has to be extremely informative, psychological, or action-packed. Sometimes you just want to sit back, turn your brain off, 
and watch some smoking hot anime chicks going after a dude that wants nothing to do with them. If you've been in the anime and manga community for a while, then I'm sure you can all agree with this statement. Anime is trash, but I am a raccoon that eats that shit up. There's deeper meanings in a lot of anime, but some are there for the sake of feeding your libido, and we love it all the same. So yes, World's End Harem does deserve an anime adaptation even though if you put an ugly bastard in there, it would be a hentai. Who cares about the invisible line holding us back? Let's all enjoy our trash taste together.